Hi everyone! Um, if you don't know by now, I'm Victoria, the Romano admin, and as I promised, um, I am going to do a story time thing because, I don't know, I felt like it, and there's plenty of weird and funny things that happen to me because I'm, I'm weird like that, and yeah. So, um, I guess this time I'm going to talk about Anime Blast Chattanooga. Um, we went to it last weekend, and it was, it was a ball of odd all over the place. Um, first of all, um, on Friday, uh, Catherine and I were wearing our Vocaloid cosplays. She was Rin, and I was Miku, and we were doing Secret Black Vow. Um, last minute, I couldn't use the dress she had made because I, my rib cage was apparently bigger than she had accounted for, and she had altered the dress, and it was beautiful, and I felt so bad. I was like, dang it, of all the things to be too big. Um, yeah. So anyway, I had to improvise, and I used a dress, and it was really pretty, but... For some reason, everyone thought we were panty and stocking, and from what I know of the character designs, it made no sense, because, um, I think it's Panty, the blonde one, she has long hair, and Rin has short hair for one thing, um, I thought Secret Black Vow was a popular video, but whatever. Um, one guy, when we were in the dealer's room, had actually, like, was talking on the phone and stopped and was like, you, you won't believe this, there's, there's a Panty and stocking cosplayers right in front of me, and that was so funny. We're sitting there like, he, he does he mean us? And so he gets off his phone. He says goodbye to his friend, or uh, he's still on the phone actually. Never mind. Um, and he's like, oh, I love your cosplays. Are you panty and stocking? We're like, uh, no. We're uh, Rin and Miku from Vocaloid. And he's like, oh. So he tells his friend that, and his friend knew who we were, and it was so exciting. And he's like, well, I still like your cosplay, so that was nice. Um, and we were kind of expecting to, because we were stopped for pictures a lot, half expecting to see a bunch of pictures on, like, DeviantArt, and then be tagged as panty and stocking, because I think it would have made me laugh. But, um, another time, I think it was, yeah, it was on Friday, um, we were watching everyone's stuff while they went to the rave, because we were both, like, we had expended all our energy, and we were totally just out. I was, uh, I was getting to the point where I was sleep drunk, which you might not have heard of, but it's really, really funny because I'll get so exhausted and tired, especially if I've been stressed out for a good while, and I will just get ridiculous, and I act drunk. It's not even, I don't even try to. I'm just, the, the stupidest thing will make me laugh, and I cannot stop, and then I'll roll around, and my face will get all red. Like, I had this turtle hat, and my friend Bailey had, um, like, lifted it up because I had covered it over my eyes, um, and she's just like, peekaboo, and it just, it was the funniest thing ever, and I was rolling all over the place and couldn't stop, and, um, I think at one point people were concerned, they're like, is she okay, and I'm like, I'm fine, I'm just, I can't stop laughing because this is apparently the funniest thing ever, um, that was pretty amusing, and it happened several times during the weekend, especially later on Friday, on Saturday night, I was so, so out, I was so exhausted and giggly that I, like, fell over a couple times, and, um, it, it got a little dicey near the end, um, yeah, because, like I said, the, I, I call it sleep drunk for a reason, because I start slurring my speech, and then I get clumsy, and it's, it's really fun for other people, but it can be scary if I trip and almost crash into a bookshelf, I've almost done that, um, but yeah, on, also on Friday, right before we left, when we got, it got just ridiculous, everybody, it was like, should any of us be driving? Because I don't know. Um, we went, we went to a yaoi panel. Uh, it had been my first yaoi panel ever. I, I didn't know what to expect. I was a little nervous because I'm like, I don't know what sort of things we're going to, you know, because they're all different and stuff. And, um... We had a couple of our friends with us, and they had been uh, dancing at the rave for quite a long time, and we're so. And Catherine and I had just been sitting there, we're just like whatever. Um, so we get to the yaoi panel, and they're both feeling sick because they. I don't think they had very much water, and it was late, and you know cons. Yeah. Anyway, so um, they started talking about the stuff, and they're like, "Is anybody allergic to latex?" I was like, "Okay." Um, then they start talking about, does anybody like bananas? Or not like bananas? And I'm like, well, I can see where this is going, but I, you know, whatever. Um, uh, and I think they started showing a video, and they're like, it was an AMV thing, it involved corn, buttered corn, I'm like, okay, whatever. But at this point, 
uh, our two friends had left because they were like, they're talking about food. No, we're leaving. Um, and we're so out of it. We need to leave because I'm like, we can't stay any later or we're just going to pass out and it's going to be ugly. So we leave right as they're saying, if you can't handle this, you should leave. And I felt so embarrassed because I was like, I can't, ha we can all handle it. We just can't be here anymore because we're just dead. Um, so that was, that was interesting. Um, also on Friday, as Catherine and I were sitting there watching the stuff, this guy walks up and he's like, man, you two are such a cute couple. And we're like, thank you? Um, he's like, yeah, man, it's always the same. At all the cons, all the, the hot girls are lesbians and stuff. And I'm like, I don't know if that's a compliment, but okay, thank you. So he walks away. And at, at the same time, we've had a couple people that think we were related a couple times. At AWA, um, it was really funny because within like 20 minutes of being there, these two guys walk up to us when the rest of our friends went to their car to get something. And they're like, yeah, you, are you two sisters? And we're like, no. And they start talking to us and they invite us to a party because stupid me decided to correct them when I thought they were, when they thought I was 12. I'm like, I'm 19. And they're like, oh, good. You can come to this party and we'll drink and have fun. And they were already kind of tipsy, I think. And the one guy had been have, had had alcohol and caffeine, which I never thought was a good idea, but whatever. Um, and finally they left us alone and I'm like, thank God, because I'm so awkward in those situations, and I think for one time, Catherine was worse than I was, but I was just like, okay, please leave, please leave, I don't want to, I don't want to talk to you, um, but yeah, so, and it happened at ABC too, somebody asked if we were sisters, I'm like, no, no, I don't even see, I don't even see that, um, what was funny, um, also, because everything apparently, Everything interesting happened on Friday. Um, there was an Italy cosplayer. Well, she cosplayed a bunch of other characters too, but um, she was. I, that was the day I happened to be Romano. So she was bouncing off the walls and she was being a typical Italy. And I was excited because I was like, yay, in Italy. Because I, I just have a fondness for Italy cosplayers. And she's like, I'm so sorry if I'm being a little too enthusiastic or I'm too, you know, annoying or anything. I'm like, you're an Italy cosplayer. It's really not annoying. I've seen really, I've seen worse cosplayers. Uh, you know, just crazy. Um, not, not that I have anything against that. Be enthusiastic all you want. It's just sometimes it gets really exhausting and it makes me feel old. And I'm like, I shouldn't be that way. I'm only 19. But um, yeah, she had a lot. We had a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> it was interesting. People stopped us for pictures a lot. Um, and then Sunday was really interesting because Catherine and I were super excited. She was gonna do 2P Canada, and man, she is really good. Um, because we're both kind of awkward ducklings, it was really easy to go in a character for them. Um, through, through Tumblr, we've, um, I mean Tumblr, not, anyway, um, we had this, because we've seen pictures and little Toshinjis of 2P Canada and 1P Canada, and so we kind of incorporated that, it was kind of cute, and she's acting all sweet and like, and really awkward, and she's like, yeah, I have a moose. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so cute. Um, she made some faces, and it kind of it kind of scared Bailey a little bit. And I'm like, nah, it's Catherine. If if she gets scary, we'll all know it. <laughs> Nobody will not know it. Um, yeah. So if you missed it, well, actually, you probably you probably missed it unless um you were like one of the three people that watched our live stream on Friday because we came. That was when we came back and we were super exhausted. Um, sorry, everything happened on Saturday, I meant, but Friday uh, when we were Vocaloids, we were super exhausted. We came back and got out of our cosplay, then back into our into our Italia cosplay for our live stream. And at that point, it was like we got back at a reasonable time, except we had to take off our cosplays and we I think we ate some food and. Um, scrolled through the pictures but for some reason by the time every we got everything set up it was like 11 and we were pretty exhausted anyway at that point um so we got on there and it, by th I think the time we got it started might have been 11 30 12 and so and we had it running until like two or three I think and so we got super late and I got super sleep drunk I mean at one point I was not even in the camera anymore I was just on the floor between uh, our friend Bailey and Catherine um I think we were only in character for about an hour because it was that late and we're just like, can't do this anymore. So every once in a while you just see this curl bobbing from the bottom of the screen and it was pretty funny. Um, I, I At one point I forgot we were on the live stream and just 
was out and was making sounds because I make so sounds when I'm sleeping. Apparently a bunch of other weird habits. Like, I didn't know I sleepwalk every once in a while, apparently. Catherine discovered that because she was sleeping on the couch and I was on the couch across the room and I think um, the last time, no, a couple times ago when we had an event here, um, it was like two in the morning, we had gone to bed at like 12 and I jump up out of, off the couch, like scree I think, uh, freaking out. Um, she wakes up and she's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, there's a snake in my blanket. And she kind of looks at me and I think she said that I somehow seemed to realize that I was dreaming or that it didn't make any sense. So I'm just like, never mind. And went back to bed and I don't remember it at all, but it doesn't surprise me because I apparently talk in my sleep as well. Not usually words, but... <laughs> I don't usually make words anyway, because English, I, I don't, my English is sketchy sometimes. It's my only language that I speak fluently, but it's sketchy sometimes. <laughs> like this morning, I think I was sending Catherine a text, and I said something like me in the middle of a sentence, and I meant to put it in quotations, but um, I caught it last second, I was like, oh god, I know, I know she's gonna know what I meant, but it makes me cringe, because that looks like such bad English, so I had to put quotes around it, and I'm like, so yeah, anyway, there there, sh there might be hopefully some more story times with Victoria or Catherine if she decides to do it. Um, I hope you like it. Um, see ya.